Follow my Twitch for daily Red Dead online live streams. Twitch.tv slash hazardous HDTV. So it appears that in the end, despite the GTA Online Casino DLC coming out, Red Dead Online players are still getting some attention by Rockstar. They did not forget about us. And honestly, the update this week is better than last week. It's not the summer update. It's nothing spectacular, but it is something nonetheless. And honestly, I do want to talk about it with you guys. So daily challenge streak award and free roam event rewards, plus new Twitch Prime benefits, clothing discounts, and more. What is going on everybody? My name is Zach and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. We're checking out this week's Red Dead Online update for Tuesday, July 23rd. So if you guys do go on to enjoy and find the information helpful, drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and want to see more GTA Online and Red Dead Online content. New GTA Online DLC just released, so I will be covering that here on the channel as well as continuing with my daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos. So daily challenge streak and free roam events rewards. Wandering the vistas and mesas on the frontier is its own reward, sure, but to be honest, goodness buried treasure, that is a bounty all its own. The Red Dead Online players who reach a three daily challenge streak, one challenge per day by July 29th will receive a bonus treasure map. Treasure maps can be accessed in the Documents tab of your satchel and contain high-value rewards, often including Red Dead Online dollars and gold for those who seek them. Joining any free roam event this week will pay out additional rewards as well, with 30% extra Red Dead Online dollars and XP for participating. Meanwhile, it pays to work as a group with extra benefits to, towards playing with a posse, earn 30% bonus XP on all activities while playing in a temporary or persistent posse. Plus, you can start up a persistent posse for 50% off to ride with up to 7 players and extra online benefits. So. You get 30% XP across the board on any activity if you start up a temporary or permanent posse, and if you play free roam events, you will get that 30% bonus. I'm not sure if it stacks on top of the other 30% bonus, and also a 30% boost in Red Dead Online dollars. We do have new clothing this week. If you haven't got a stitch to wear this week, the Wheeler Rawson and Company catalog has got you covered with plenty of new wares. Try two new colors of the burnished leather Gibson pants or slip into a pair of Blackburn boots, also available in two color ways and are permanent additions to the catalog. Meanwhile, for players with more formal engagements to attend, the Dapper Fan Stovepipe hat and the Dashing Irwin coat are both available while stocks last. These Black Boon boots colors and the Gibson pants colors, they both have two new colors. Those are permanent additions to the catalog. The Irwin coat and stovepipe top hat, whatever you guys think about them, they are limited edition. So if you would like to pick them up, now is the time because they will be going away either next week, week after, whatever. The Irwin coat actually looks pretty cool in my opinion. But nonetheless, let's talk about the discounts. A visit to your local fence and gunsmith is also recommended with 25% off essential ordnance provisions like the incendiary buckshot pamphlet, small game arrow pamphlet, studded explorer gun belt, and the sharpshooter gun belt. You can also take 25% off the potent predator bait pamphlet to craft your own bait. And we do also have limited time Twitch Prime benefits. Twitch Prime members who have linked their account to their Rockstar Games Social Club profile can lay claim to the Tasman and Danub outfits, the boisterous quote unquote how dare you emote, and the high powered Carcano rifle, all for free with no rank locks. If you own the Tasman and the Danube outfits, you will not be getting cash back for these things if you are a Twitch Prime member, but if you haven't purchased the Carcano rifle, the How Dare You emote, the Tasman and Danube outfits, as long as you are a Twitch Prime member, and remember, Twitch Prime is bundled with Amazon Prime. I know a lot of people may have Amazon Prime. In case you didn't know, you do have Twitch Prime as well. You can also check out my Twitch account and subscribe to me using your Twitch Prime, and you can also get bonus rewards on my stream as well, including new sub badges and emotes to use. But check this out, if you do have Amazon Prime, that means you'll have Twitch Prime. Twitch Prime is bundled with that. Make sure to link your Amazon Prime and your Twitch Prime account. Make sure to link your Rockstar Games Social Club to Twitch and make sure to link your Xbox Gamer Tag or your PlayStation name to Rockstar Games Social Club as well so you can pick up these rewards. These are new rewards in Red Dead Online that weren't necessarily offered before the other Twitch Prime bonuses expire July 19th. And likewise, Twitch Prime members who play Red Dead Online this week will receive an additional 10% discount on all of the discounts listed above, so 60% off the permanent posse fee, 35% off incendiary buckshot pamphlet, small game arrow pamphlet, and potent predator bait pamphlet with the studded explorer gun belt and the sharpshooter gun belt. And also, if you guys want to visit Rockstar Games Social Club to check out other Twitch Prime rewards, definitely stay tuned on their newswire, definitely go check out their website, they have a tutorial on how to link all of that stuff. But I just wanted to mention that because Rockstar is still pushing these Switch Prime rewards 
right now that's kind of like their way to get people to actually play this game same in the sense with these daily challenges the daily challenge streak and free roam event rewards these are things to keep people playing i really wish rockstar would give us actual rewards though this is something but it's not the stuff that gta gets again they could have just given us a bonus treasure map to get people to log on this tuesday and use it but they're like rockstar basically said hey you know what let's have people complete three days worth of daily challenges to essentially get a new treasure map this week. It was kind of like with the care package. We got one care package two weeks ago. People thought it was linked with the rolls, but we didn't get one this week. So maybe that theory or rumor or speculations debunked. I thought it would be pretty cool, but nonetheless, I guess it turned out not to be true. Maybe we'll get a care package next week. We should be getting these on a weekly basis anyway. But nonetheless, we got that care package for free right away on Tuesday's Drip Feed DLC update. Then the next week, we got another care package for our horses, but it wasn't one that was gifted to us. It was gifted to us, but we had to earn it by completing 10 daily challenges throughout the whole week. Not, you know, 10 in one day because there's only maximum of seven, but just 10 throughout that whole week from Tuesday to Tuesday in an entire week to earn the care package. And now we aren't even getting a care package this week. If we want this bonus treasure map, you need to complete three daily challenges. Basically, a daily challenge today, tomorrow, and the 25th you know, 23rd, 24th, 25th, or complete one, the 23rd, 25th, 27th, as long as you complete a three daily challenge streak by July 29th. So three consecutive days of daily challenges by July 29th, which is next Monday, you will get this bonus treasure map gifted to you pretty much within that day or the next day probably. And make sure to take advantage. If you guys actually really do wanna play Red Dead Online this week, the rewards aren't necessarily awful. They're not fantastic like they usually are, or like they never are, I should say. They're never fantastic. And they're usually pretty bad, but these aren't necessarily like terrible. 30% XP boost as long as you just start a posse. You don't even need to have people in the posse. You just need to start the temporary posse or start the per, um, the persistent posse for a 30% XP boost. I know a lot of people aren't necessarily high ranking players in Red Dead Online, and this is gonna be a good way to take advantage of that. And those free roam events, when you're wandering the world doing stranger missions, you can partake in those free roam events for 30% boost in Red Dead Online dollars and XP. So when I live stream on Twitch, I will be taking part in that stuff. I will also be live streaming the GTA Online update today on Twitch. If you guys want to check out any of that stuff, follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram at HazardousHDTV on all of those platforms, all of those social media sites. Look, I love this game. You guys have heard me talk about this game every single day. There's just not much going on with Red Dead Online at the current moment, and I am doing my best to bring you guys fun content. I asked if you guys wanted to see live gameplays. You said yes. I uploaded a video. It got like 2.5 thousand views so not a lot of people are watching if you guys do want to see it, i will continue to come out with it but right now besides this red dead online video i do want to put my focus into the grand theft auto online casino dlc update in gta 5 online it's really awesome there's new penthouses you can go gambling at the casino and honestly i just want to mention this because i don't want to make this into a gta focus video at the end here but i do just want to bring up it seems that gta online players are very very happy and content with this update there's a lot of cool stuff although it's the honeymoon phase the hype is going to die down in a couple weeks and then we'll start getting more red dead online information after that in probably the next two or three weeks and then in another two or three weeks after that we'll probably get the update for the summer update for Red Dead Online once the GTA Online hype dies down. But players are loving the update. GTA Online players haven't had a new update since Arena Wars in December of 2018. And they finally got something here with the Casino DLC on Tuesday, July 23rd of 2019. I think this is really good news for us Red Dead Online players. We need to, we're, we're in the final stretch here. All right, we've gone now over two months. We've gone two months and one week since the spring DLC update in Red Dead Online. The spring DLC update came out May 14th, 2019. It is July 23rd, 2019 right now. We have gone literally nine weeks since the spring DLC update and we haven't gotten new content in about five or six, I'm pretty sure at this point. But you know what? It's okay because we will be getting stuff soon. And if the players are super happy about this casino DLC update, there's a lot of new stuff. Rockstar has been working on the summer update. They've been working on the casino DLC update. And if players in GTA are content with the casino update, I think that's very good news for us players in Red Dead Online because that shows that Rockstar maybe in fact wasn't lazy and giving up on this game after all. Maybe they're gonna come out with something awesome. I've been very anxious talking about this game because I don't know what to expect. Will these roles be a bunch of just misleading clickbait? Like, oh, it's just gonna be Stranger Missions disguised as roles? Or will it be something truly incredible? And now, you know, I would have thought beforehand my default expectation 
was just bit some baseline boring GTA Online fetch quest stuff as these roles and Rockstar is gonna be like yeah they're role playing features but like not really they're just boring time based fetch quests like everything else in GTA er, uh, GTA Online and even Red Dead Online with the Stranger missions but maybe in fact they will be pieces of very expansive content and I think it's good news guys we just gotta hang in there a little bit longer I am right with there with you guys I am level 206 in Red Dead Online on PlayStation 4. I have played this game for almost 20 days now in the online portion alone. I get you. There is nothing to do. I'm still having fun live streaming with you guys on Twitch, but we need to hang in there just a little bit longer, and I hope you guys can stick with me on this one. We are very, very close. In the next month, we will definitely have more info on this update, and within the next two months, we will have the update, absolutely, because summer ends actually two months from now, or two months from yesterday. But um, anyway, so... That's all I have to say for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Like I said, check me out on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram at HazardousHDTV. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this update and the GTA Online Casino DLC update. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I love you, and I will see you all in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.